Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another monthly collective haul video. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you all the products that I have tried and tested and purchased in the month of August. If this is your first time on my channel, hi, my name is Eve and I love all things beauty. Here on my channel, I share about a beauty and a lifestyle and I upload new videos every week. And this type of video, monthly collective haul, I usually film towards the end of the following month for all the products that I've tried and tested and purchased in the previous month. That gives me a reasonable time to try all these products, test them properly, and give you my final roundup thoughts. And most of these products I've already tried and tested uh, for several weeks, if not a month. However, there are very few products here that I have in my stash in front of me that I just got a few days ago. So I have tried them already, but I will give you my final thoughts, most probably in my September favorites and fails video. And as always in all my videos, there are timestamps underneath this video for your convenience. Now, without further ado, let's dive in. Today. So all the makeup that I'm wearing today, of course, I will be um, linking for you in the description box for your reference. However, I'm still going to do a shout out to the eyeshadow palette that's on my eyes because I've been talking about this and the sister palette quite a bit on my channel in my recent videos. And this is an ultimate vintage baby from NYX. And the reason why I'm showing it to you like this, because this baby has been through things, okay, since I got it. And now when I was filming this makeup look, this palette fell off of my filming table twice, okay? And it's shattered. I will need to fix it. Um, however, this is a lovely palette. I absolutely loved it. This is the makeup look that I was telling you about that I tried it one day and I absolutely wanted to recreate it for you. So this makeup look I filmed for my IG Reels. I'm also wearing this new pair of, of lashes that was sent to me from Salon Perfect. This is number 653. I wanted to show them to you because they are a little bit more dramatic and there's a little bit thicker band there, but they are demi-style wispies, kind of multi-layered and they have really soft curl. A lot of lash style like these, uh, they feel heavy on eyes. I kid you not, I do not feel them. I have a feeling that these are gonna be my new favorite dramatic lashes. Before we get into the products, uh, there are a few housekeeping things that I wanted to share with you. In the month of August, at the end of August and beginning of September, Alta had their sale event of 21 Days of Beauty. So all the products that I purchased during that event, they are in a separate video. And by the time you're watching this video, that video should be already live on my channel. Also, some of these products that you're gonna see today already made it into my August favorites and fails. All my eyeshadow palettes that I've tried and tested and revisited in the month of August. I put them in a separate a ranking video for you and that video is already live on my channel. The monthly eyeshadow palettes videos I do on a monthly basis and that is a part of my Shop My Stash series that I started earlier this year. And all these videos, of course, I will have them linked for you in the description box. So now let's get into the products and I'm gonna start with makeup because I do have a good bunch of makeup related products. Let me just start from sharing one item that I ever purchased. Uh, this is a sponge from e.l.f. This is uh, cookies and dreams collection this is my third one you guys because it's an excellent excellent sponge another makeup product that i purchased was this rem beauty foundation i got mine in shade fair 8n and this is a really really good match for me i also used the matching shade tool on alta beauty uh, website and i have to say that i was pretty impressed how well they matched me to this color i really like the packaging it's very beautiful i've done a wear test video on this foundation i have to say that my wear test video didn't go as well as i thought it would. What I did in that wear test did not work. I needed to do a better primer and I definitely, definitely needed to set this foundation with good powder. So since then I wore this foundation quite a bit and I tried it with different powders and uh, primers combinations. My preference right now for the primer working with this foundation is the Matting Fium Formula. For my combination oily skin with more visible pores on my T-zone, I know that I definitely need to have a mattifying primer that controls my oils in the center of my face because this formula, even though it says like that natural soft matte finish this however is still somewhat hydrating formula and it is absolutely essential for me to set this foundation with a good powder so overall i think it's a nice formula i think it looks good on skin it actually wears nicely if you properly prime your skin and then set the entire texture with a proper powder. Also, the product that came with it, I apologize ahead of time, but my sponge is super dirty because I used it 
This is a sponge that came with a foundation. I got mine as a free gift with purchase. I really like the shape of it. It's multifaceted, really good quality sponge. And all these facets, uh, they come in really handy. So another product that I actually happen to wear today, this is a House Labs concealer. And this is a really good shade match for me. As a concealer, I really like this formula. It does have a level of hydration, but it's not too emollient. It definitely has a little bit of thickness, so it does give you a really beautiful coverage. I definitely need to set this product because it is a little bit hydrating. And I've tried this concealer with several of my powders and I still get a consistent result every time. It looks really beautiful. The coverage doesn't fade. Another complexion product that I'm quite loving is this powder foundation from Sephora. Mine is in the shade 15N. This is called Matte Powder Foundation. This is a formula that says matte and it looks beautiful on skin. It does give you a really nice medium, slightly bit buildable coverage. I really like how it looks on skin. It's not drying, it doesn't look powdery. This is a powder that has a level of hydration in it that comes through as the day progresses. I just noticed this hydrating effect from this formula. But overall, I think this is a really nice, comfortable formula that looks good on skin. And yeah, I've been really liking it. I've been wearing it quite a bit. Another complexion product is this uh, highlighter. It's called Golden Hour Highlighter Duo. Mine is in the shade, oh, Golden Hour is a shade. One side is a little bit more subtle and this one I think is a little bit more shiny. This is supposed to be a little bit more subtle and this is supposed to be a little bit more shiny. I just wanted to try another product from Sephora Collection. So I picked this one up. Even the subtle side has quite a bit of glow and reflect. There is, however, a lot of, um, kickback and it looks a little bit powdery on skin. So, so let's move on to lips and I purchased this uh, new launch from Milani. This is called uh, Fruit Fetish and Nectar Lip Oil and I got mine in the shade Lychee Nectar 160. This has a really nice doe food applicator and it smells divine. You definitely get a little bit of a tint of what you see here, but it's very, very sheer. For my personal preference, I like it as a topper to a lot of different lipsticks. It is nice and hydrating. However, it doesn't last too long on lips and also there is not too much pigment to it. So it's quite sheer. I wouldn't call this an oil. I would call it maybe like a hybrid between balm and oil. I feel like it's more balmy than it is oily. It feels nice and comfortable on lips. It's hydrating, but at the same time, it also does not last too long on your lips. Um, I think I purchased this in August. The reason why I can't remember is because I bought it from the store and when you purchased anything from Ulta in the store it doesn't come up in your purchasing history on the app so I think I purchased it in August but if uh, if I didn't then forgive me so this is a Maracuja Juicy Lip Cream and this is in the shade Soft Rose and I'll tell you I've been using it left and right it has very very pretty shade it's considerably sheer but you can still build it up so the color shows off this is beautiful super comfortable like balm Tinted Balm. I love this shade. It's like my lips, but better. It's super comfortable. It's nice and hydrating, beautiful color. It's just spot on gorgeous. I waited for a very long time to try this because if you know, you know, other uh, tart, lippy, glossy, messy things that um, are very popular. So that was not my cup of tea, but this one is a spot on really excellent product. So then I purchased a few more brushes from Ruffer Beauty. So 21 is a flat brush. Number one is a flat blending brush. And then 26 is a pointed smudger. You can probably use it in other ways too. And number 15 is a beautiful blending brush. And uh, this is a repurchase. I already have one of these. They have an annual sale. So if you're not familiar with that sale, they do it, I believe once a year. It's buy one, get one. And I could not pass on it because these brushes are really, really excellent. Another product that I wanted to update you on is this mascara. So this came to me, I think as a gift with purchase. And I think I've already talked about it a few times in a few of my uh, recent videos. This is from Maybelline, the Falsies Surreal Mascara. I really like the wand. It's nice and straight and it has natural bristles. So I do notice a fluffy effect on my lashes. Also builds up the really nice volume in several layers. You need to build up the layers like one after another because once it dries out, once it sets, you cannot add any more layers and this mascara does not smudge. One thing that I wanted to uh, side note here is that at times when I wash off or double cleanse my face, uh, at times I do have smudging around my eyes. So I'd need to use a makeup remover in addition to this. Um, another makeup product that I purchased is this corrector from e.l.f. I got mine in the shade Peach. I think it's the lightest one and this is the shade. And I have to say that the texture is nice. It definitely covers your under eye blueness. However, I feel like it's a little bit 
bit too thick for my liking. First of all, it's considerably dark on my skin. So my skin is so fair. I need to use almost like a full coverage concealer to block the shade of this. Otherwise it comes through and it's visible and it looks dark. And these days I, I don't really wear like two full, full coverage concealers. I do wear medium, like high medium coverage, but I'm not really using those like heavy full coverage concealers anymore. I feel like it actually adds darkness to my eyes. Let me know if you use this product, if you have it and how you use it, share it with me because so far this is where I stand with this. So another product that I purchased is this eyeliner. This is an unfollowable grip precision felt liquid eyeliner in the shade brown from L'Oreal. And if you've been on my channel in the past six months, at least, you know that I've been on a hunt. I've been on a hunt for a liquid brown, true chocolate, like milk chocolate, really nice, bright brown liquid eyeliner. It's been very hard to find one because a lot of brown liquid eyeliners lean much darker, like dark chocolate, more towards black side. And this is a shade I really have been loving this. This does not bleed, this doesn't fade, this doesn't crinkle, goes on top of the eyeshadows with no issues. So far it's been working wonderfully and I absolutely like the shade. On. So now let's move on to some skincare items. I only have a very few things to share with you today. This is not a skincare item, but this is a repurchased item. So this is an Enviro 54 hairspray. It has a hold level four, and this is the product that I just recently finished up and I repurchased it. I'm generally not like a hairspray person, so I use a very small amount of hairsprays. So these small containers, they last me a while. So then I purchased this mask. This is from, it's a 10, five minute hair repair for blondes. It's supposed to help you with toning down the brassiness of your blonde hair. It helps uh, repair damaged hair, uh, thermal protection, improves elasticity, so it's doing all these amazing things. I have not tried this yet. This is the only product that I have not tried. So I'll definitely keep you updated. But if you've tried it, please share with me in the comment section below how it worked out for you. Another product that I repurchased also for my upcoming travel is this Polis Choice 2% uh, BHA liquid exfoliant. I love this. I'm definitely going to be uh, getting a full bottle of this um, when the Sephora sale comes around. So another product that I I already talked about in my August favorites. This is a cleansing melting balm from Neutrogena and this one is so good. It has a vitamin E and it says it's luxurious formula and I completely agree with that description. This balm turns into a almost like a cleansing milk on your skin. It is very effective at removing everything. However, it doesn't leave residue and once you wash everything off, uh, your skin feels hydrated and moisturized. As a matter of fact, like you don't really need to do a secondary step with this because this just does everything you need for your skin. I have been really, really loving this. It was pretty impressive formula. This is another repurchase item. It's one of those things that's on my permanent repurchase list. Cannot live without these. These are the green tea hydrogel under eye patches from Earth Therapeutics. Sure. These are all the products that I wanted to share with you today. So if you have any comments, questions, leave them under this video. I would love to chat with you there. And um, if you enjoyed this video, give this a big thumb up. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I invite you to subscribe to my channel before you leave today. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in my next one.